Okay guys, I think you have seen the problem also. Here is a bigger gap than all the others. Remember how the watchdog works? Time t2 and time t3 repeating and repeating again after each trigger. So after the last trigger, time 2 starts again, which is the dead time. In this time the watchdog doesn't like a trigger and after the dead time T3 starts when the watchdog expecting a trigger. If no trigger comes after the time T3, then the watchdog is not happy and causing a reset. I think this is what we have here. Now let's measure the time after the last trigger to the reset event. It should be these both times added together. And this is time T2 and T3 is about 8.5 milliseconds. Let's check this here. One cursor here, one cursor there when the reset appears and we are about 8.1 milliseconds. This is not the time that I have expected, but I think this is because some part tolerances on the PCB. These are theoretical values and these are real values. So, this watchdog runs in a timeout and causing a reset. Again and again and again. As you can see here, this game repeats exactly in the same pattern. Here you can see more. That means the Motorola on this module here crashes for some reason. Um, I think there are three possibilities why this can happen. First is a bad firmware inside the Motorola that keeps crashing after 20 cycles. Here this is 20 cycles. I have counted them before. Second is an external input from the Motorola that causes the processor to crash. I mean the Motorola crashes because from an external input. But I have eliminated this too because I have lifted all pins. I was running around with the scope around the Motorola and lifted each pin where I was seeing some periodi periodical repeating signals and at least the Motorola and the watchdog was alone and the problem was still there so that's not the third can be this module waits for my external feedback maybe from the gateway or another controller in the car but this is also not because the Motorola don't even try to talk to something else so I'm pretty sure that the Motorola firmware is dead why ever now my game plan is trying to find a same module from the scrapyard and read the contents from the Motorola and program it to a new one. That should work, in my opinion. But first I have to find a module. What do you think makes this sense? I will for sure search now for a used module on the scrapyard and then I come back with another video. Thanks for watching.